Welcome back to part eight of the Sonic Unleashed part of TCR playthrough. We got the same crew. And action, you talk more about science, and we'll just make dick jokes. Go. <laughs> Pangus. Oh, okay. Um, so I would say that a lot of what I said last part, um, I'm not going to say that's 100 percent correct because you know a lot of that research was done in the context of ego motion, by which I mean like your perception of self motion. Oh let yeah, me interrupt sorry, you real ahead. quick. Yeah. you're on YouTube. Those comments are already made, and everyone's called you the worst person on earth. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, that, that's nothing I haven't heard from my professors before, so... <laughs> your, your professor's you coming on to All our videos. Silent. But yeah, like, a lot of this research is based on, you know, humans who, you know, see usually in first person, you know, because you have, like, things like static information, like, you know, like, where am I? You know, how am I oriented with respect to gravity? Then you have, like, dynamic information, like, how fast am I moving? In what direction am I moving? And when will I arrive or collide with an object? In other words, you know, what's your time to contact? And, you know, while I think that these principles could be applied and may already be applied in games like this, that might be part of the reason why they placed the camera the way they did in Unleashed. I'm still wondering if those principles are directly, you know, applicable when you're looking at someone in third motion or in third person. It still can be just uh, like they said with Sonic's height that's going to give you because because third person, at least from. It's still like a first person type view. Like, you still get the same perception. Wouldn't you get the same uh, information, though? That's true. Yeah, I guess, yeah, you are still looking through a camera. I guess if you consider the camera the part that you're looking through in for, in first person, yeah. Yeah. But then again, there's, <laughs> there's also, you know, the part where you also have to um, reconcile that with the part that, you know, the part of the environment that's actually interacting with everything else, you know, the part of the environment that's for all intents and purposes you is something you're looking at in third person because the camera is, isn't exactly interacting with everything, you know. In fact, it's actually clipping through the environment at times. It's Sonic who's going to be the one who's going to be hit by enemies. Sonic's going to be the one who's actually running through the environment. And I'm wondering, you know, if that perception of speed is going to be appreciably affected. What's that person doing? Anyway, what I'm hearing is they need to make a Sonic VR game. Yeah, we were actually talking about this during uh, Smoothie's SA1 stream. We were toying with the idea of SA1 VR, and we kind of pretty much all decided that would be a horrible idea, which means it should happen. <laughs> Cowards. I'd, <play> it. <laughs> I'd get a VR headset just for SA1 VR. Then I'd throw up, I guess. I don't know. I never use VR. Sega, get started. Like, think, think of it. Sega needs to do like one of those bundle game packs, but for VR, so that we can play SA1 VR. Crazy Taxi v VR, mm. Zamba de Amigo VR, uh, like Space Channel 5 VR, and it'd be perfect. And voila, Sega's revived. Finally, and they're back saved. to main consoles, and we're back on the right timeline. I hate all of what you just said, because I want it all. And I'm not going to get it all, except for Space Channel 5 VR. Wait, is that well, your thing? Yeah, it's coming out uh, sometime what? this year. What? It's out in Japan already, I think. When did that get announced? Uh, a couple years ago. Hot damn. That's kind of the thing. Sega's doing a lot with all their old IP. It's just really weird niche stuff, and no one's talking about it, because it's niche. <laughs> Street to Rage 4, Ow. baby! Yeah. There's a new Daytona game they put out in arcades a couple years ago. No one new really talked about that. Dead. New House of the Dead. Uh, I'm still kind of miffed that... What they've been, what they've been doing with the Crazy Taxi series, it's just. Have, have uh, they done anything those, with Crazy those, Taxi? Those they, they, they had the two mobile games. They put and then, Hulk Hogan in one of them. They put uh, how, how recent was that? Um, not after everything that happened, but just recent enough to where it was still in the game, and you went, hmm. So kind of like the Michael Jackson music in Sonic Three. Yeah. yeah, except if Michael Jackson was running around in the Sonic game. <laughs> it was, it, oh, like they that made guy. like specific missions themed around Hulk Hogan 2 in that one. Uh, See, for me, like, for me, uh, mister. It's, what can you say but yikes? <laughs> then the other Crazy Taxi Mobile game was a clicker game, which I like yeah. those because I'm an idiot, but that's not what Crazy Taxi <laughs> should be. And, and it's just, and then of course with all those mobile games, they, none of them have soundtracks that are nearly in the same, like even in the same spirit as 
I, I, I'll, I'll forgive bits of Crazy Two, Crazy Taxi Two soundtrack. The Crazy Taxi One soundtrack is obviously the pinnacle. It's the standard, and it, it's so simple. It's such an effective soundtrack. It's like two bands, like one four top. songs each. Ah, I fucking love Crazy Taxi soundtrack, and just it's almost like it's a complete. It's not even a thought when making a Crazy Taxi game anymore. It's can like, I no, can I break your brain a little bit? That Crazy Taxi Please. Clicker game, the last one they put out, they licensed the yeah. exact offspring songs you want to hear in that game. Which, like, all of them from Ixnay the Ombre? Yeah, all the which ones from they the put original in the clicker, game which... that you'd want. All of them. But they I only guess. play for, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, then this... Uh, well, they're, they're cut in, in Crazy Taxi as well. I think um, Americana is cut a bit short. Um, Bad Religion songs are just always short, so there's no reason to... Ever... To really cut them. Yeah, one of them was just that drum loop for the settings. So yeah. Oh, um, but yeah, I think that's the that's the beginning of Americana. Yeah, but in this instance, they're not like tailored cut. It's just like here's thirty seconds of the intro of all I want, and now it's over. <laughs> it's it's like those uh those nineties plastic chips that you put in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so someone cared at some point, and then someone else didn't care at some point, and it created a weird fucking mess. That- that's sad. Oh, Sega. Like, yeah, I, I want to make a crazy taxi game. I could make a good crazy taxi game. I believe in. You. Actually, no. I can't. I can't. I can't make promises. I can't keep. <laughs> John Sega is gonna be knocking at your door. We heard you can make us a crazy taxi, bitch. <laughs> like, all I can do is put you a good mixtape together. That's all they need. I just want everyone. It's that's it. I just want everyone to listen to my new punk rock mixtape. You're hired. Would, would you put Ska in a hypothetical Crazy Taxi 4, or is that going too far? Eee. Well, I mean, what, what, I don't even remember his name because I'm a fake fan, but, like, <laughs> the main care, the, the main taxi driver, Axel. he definitely looks like... Ax- okay, I, was, I wasn't sure if it was Axel. Yeah, he definitely looks like he listens to Ska music. I mean, he's got the whole fucking Hawaiian shirt get up and everything, so... He seems like a guy who makes a group chat on Facebook Messenger every seven months, like, come on, guys, let's just make a ska band. I know a guy with a trombone. <laughs> I, can't e- I can't even talk shit. Like, I saw a real big fish, like, just last month. Like, oh, I'm... Dude, I... <laughs> it was amazing. This sh- it was so good. <laughs> Speaking of ska and horns... <laughs> Now that MVM and I have had our date night, how's everyone else doing? We had a bonding moment there. That was great. We're more than just Digimon now. We're, we're Digi-Destined. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, every, everyone in the chat, name your favorite Digimon character voiced by Terrastrong. Blue Blaster! Um, there's one voiced by Terrastrong? Oh, Christopher, yeah, don't, like, oh, Chris, te- you ruined everything. That's what I'm saying. There's one voiced by Terra Strong. Pikachu? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> Jake the Dog Mom. My favorite. Jake that, that was honestly my favorite episode of Digimon was when um, Terra Strong's. Her performance as Pikachu against Terra Strong's Goku just was so powerful when they discovered the One Piece. It brought a tear to my eye. I thought it was inspired. Also, when the One Piece was voiced by Terra Strong. That was also really weird. I thought it was inspired casting to have Terrier Mon voiced by Terra Strong. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I had to do this. Well, I had to get one joke in. It's a night stage. What else could I do? <laughs> There's nothing to make fun of other than my bad gameplay. You can make ice puns. Like, this is such a cool stage. No, nah, you got away with that a few parts ago and no one caught it. You're not getting away with that anymore. No, sir. <laughs> Unless you didn't mean it. In which case, I imprinted a pun onto you that you did not make. No, I meant it. You caught me red-handed. I'll chill out. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> How much longer is this part? Oh, there's a lot. Really so cool. the stage uh, takes place in Happy Feet. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ! That was a Happy Feet. No, I think that surfs up. That was a surfs up sequel with the fucking so man- wave, the- wave yeah, Mania sorry. or whatever. 
Did you watch it? Was Surf's up the one with the penguins with the blonde hair? Yes. Yes. Can we just can we just cancel the universe? (laughs) Can we do that for diminishing returns? Oh my god! I guess <laughs> we could do it. At some how, point. how do you do? How do you get a diminished return on the sequel to the movie with the Shia LaBeouf surfing penguin and the fucking Napoleon Dynamite chicken dude? Hey, it's like, oh yeah. How about Vince McMahon Otter? By all accounts, <laughs> the okay. first surf's up was pretty okay. <laughs> surf's up one is great. It up. It's got good. It's got good scenes, but it still had fucking Bill Hader as a chicken. Doesn't... It's no open season three. I'll tell you that. Doesn't, um, doesn't it's no Robin over the hedge. Williams voice one? No, Robin Williams wasn't in. That, the that's in Happy Feet. Oh, yeah, he, he yeah he plays he plays the uh, the Latino uh, a penguin. Huh. Yeah, Wait, no, really? don't put he, that on he us. He was in Happy Feet. He was two characters in Happy Feet. He was the guru and he was the Latino. I didn't know Robin Williams was Latino. Robin Williams is everything. Now that we've had that pregnant pause, <laughs> a moment of <laughs> silence. Dun, 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 what, what about you? Forgot about uh, I forget. Did, did you uh, about the all the poly worlds? I already made that joke. I I, 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 joke. I tripped and fell, so I missed a few seconds. Wait, wait. Let's go back. Let's go back and examine that. You tripped and fell. How? I tripped and uh, I fell and I dropped my headphones, so I missed a couple seconds of uh, precious commentary. <laughs> Wait, were you walking around? What'd you no, I around? just tripped off my chair. <laughs> How the fuck did you trip from a stationary position? Very carefully. <laughs> Look, Stefan's going on a world tour with this. He's going to make it to the Olympics. Please respect. No, he's going to the Laugh Olympics to meet Scooby Doo. Uh oh. And do what? Stand up comedy? Uh, I got that. That's good. Uh, I'm proud of you. That's that good. Uh, what you did there was good. It won't be very good stand-up comedy if Stefan falls over, though. Or if he does so from a sitting position. Go back. You don't have... <laughs> uh, there's only there's only twenty more minutes of this left. It's good. Save good. more smart things. <laughs> Save the sinking ship. We're in a night stage. <laughs> There's nothing to say. Everything's been said. This game sucks. See, Except did, when it doesn't. I think the, the ice look... I, I like the way the ice looks in this game. So, okay, so this, you know... What, what thing I like I'll when s- I don't get the target reticle. <laughs> one thing I'll say about the ice, and this is a problem, I think, um, sometimes with um, design and gameplay not, uh, not be, uh, going hand in hand. Werehog spikes on his shoes for no other reason than I'm sure Sonic Team just thought it looked cool. You run into a problem though in things like ice levels where realistically the fact that he has those those uh, spikes in his shoes should mean that he, he gets better traction where say regular Sonic wouldn't and it's one of the things where it's I uh, I, I just kind of wish that people would think more about what you know just because something looks if you're gonna have something because it looks cool you have to make sure it it you know it, it, it works within the realism i know i say realism in a, in a game of a fucking talking blue hedgehog who turns into a werewolf i get it <laughs> but still it's just like it, it's it's an odd choice to give them the spiky shoes but then they don't interact at all with anything in in, in, in his uh, in his levels it's because there's uh, grease on the bottom of the ice or on the bottom of the spikes Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, the chili dogs just slipping all over his spikes, you know. They might not even be real spikes. They might be, like, made of really soft rubber or something, you know. <laughs> Picked it up at Hot Topic. He's like, oh, these look cool. I'll use this for my benign transformation sequence. Sonic's a mall ninja. I wish, I wish <laughs> the, I wish the uh, movie Sonic had spikes in his shoes. In, 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 his, in his officially licensed Nikes. I may maybe you should also put some socks on too. I mean, where Werehog has socks on, at least. Fucking let let. Okay, so you know what? This is something. So you know how sometimes, typically, I'm I am a person who will like if the creator says something, I'm I'm willing to go with it all, but then like what fans, what like the fandom says. However, the the realization from Sonic designer Oshima 
that uh, what what for th almost 30 years everyone assumed were socks are actually just part of Sonic's shoes. I'm saying fuck you. No, those are socks. Those are not built into his shoe because that is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard of. Oh, it's they're not part of no, no, they're, they're not part of his shoes. They're part of his skin. Uh, yeah. it's, oh. that's, that's like the opposite of uh, Star Fox. Like, <laughs> thing. I mean, there's always kind of it's this. Like, those aren't their legs. They're all amputees. Like, why? Because it's what? cool. <laughs> I mean, there's always there's always kind of this thing where when you have like characters and when you have like characters in like uh, movies or shows or whatever, especially like old shows, and you don't really think about it, it's like, oh yeah, like they're wearing those big like shoes and stuff. And then most of the time, it's like, oh yeah, they probably don't even have socks on, because I guess socks weren't a thing back then. Maybe. Wait, what? I don't know. It just always like thinks like whenever I see like shows like that where people like they have like their boots on, I just assume that oh yeah, they have socks on. Then they take them off and they're like barefoot. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, shouldn't you have socks on? What shows? I've, I've never heard oh, just of people... any like old, any like old like like there are ones like ones from the past or whatever fantasy shows. Like like Star Trek. Uh... I think more like something like uh, shit. Uh, or am I blanking on the shit? Rock, yeah. See, because you say old and that's broad. Are you talking like did people in the fifties have socks, or are we saying did people in like the eighteen sixties have socks? What? Because I know for what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Chris? <laughs> I, I that one need... was just for me. <laughs> that was beautiful. He reached across with the opposite arm too. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumbass hedgehog. Rye Star couldn't. Oh, uh, that's that. Werehog to you. Piece of shit, Werehog. Stop writing OG on his name tag. Yeah, you leave. You leave the. You, you leave the man hog alone. He's got the wear clap. I don't have to respect him. <laughs> the wear clap. That just makes me sound like he's got an STD. He's yeah, got he the, does. He's, he's got the wear clap. He knew what he was doing. He could have got the tested. I, I, just, I just always remember when I, cause I first played the Wii version of this game, and I saw when I saw Sonic Transform, I'm like, oh, he turned into like a uh, like a, a werewolf. He's like he's a werehog. So it's like, but this is before I knew that was an actual thing. So then when I eventually played uh, the HD version, and I saw the title Sonic the Werehog, and I'm like, oh, oh, that, that's what's actually called. Which oh, shit's canon. You know, I I always wondered because after after the trailer, like people online would just say that. I often wondered. If if that was what he was always intended to be called, or if literally Sega just saw people were calling him that online and just adapted it into the game, I think he's only ever officially called that uh, in that in the in the uh, what do you call it the level in the level up thing. Yeah, because I don't I don't uh, believe the the word werehog is ever actually spoken. Nope, at all in this game. And I You're wonder right, if it that, isn't, is it? I wonder if that is that said in any promotional material. I know uh, some Night of the Werehog. called him Werehog, but that was way. Well, yeah, later. yeah, way after, yeah, because even like like the comics called him Werehog and stuff like that. I'm talking about at the time. No, you know, I I, I think that maybe I think uh, Night of the Werehog, you know. Oh it's, right, it's, right. It's not said in there, but obviously, I mean, but again, like that's that's just the title. So again, I it, it's I I have no confirmation for this. Maybe if 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 Ben Kalo was still around, we we could ask him. But um, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. He will um, be missed. But yeah, you know, I I, 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 I do actually wonder if that was just added at the last Look second. Look at him do a little dance. Was always sick. twirling. Oh, he's still going. Twirling, twirling, always twirling. You know what I miss that no one talks about? Sonic and Leashed had a Japanese only, um, had two uh, different development blogs. Um, one was hosted by two TV personalities yes, and one was yes. from the team. There was a lot of really cool information on that. I think those websites are gone, and I don't know if anyone archived them. I oh. I know I have somewhere on my PC. I I think I have at least all of the promotion, the like um, development artwork they put on that. Mm, because good. that was um, you know because that's when you got the designs where it's like the Werehulk's covered in chains with like a backwards cap, yeah. and the one where he's literally just, just a fucking yeti. <laughs> there's there's just one where where the Werehog is just Jotaro. Where, not entirely sure why. <laughs> you know, a Yeti design for the Werehog would have actually been cool for this particular level. 
<laughs> just as like a one level yeah. gimmick, just have him show up as a yeti just for you know just whatever this is. Super awesome. No reason. That that reminds me of the old uh, the the concept art for Shadow and like they're all of them are literally just evil Sonic. I God, yeah, I love the me. one where it's just like Sonic with like a scarf and a fucking scar over his eye. Yeah, the the, the, the the one that's just cable. <laughs> Oh, he got rifled. <laughs> I wonder if there ever was a time when Shadow was planned to just literally be like an evil alternate version of Sonic, like for some other dimension or something. And then, but but then, unfortunately, Ken Penn just caught wind of that and confronted the Sega. He's like, "Evil Sonic is mine," and so it was. You know, it, it's weird because like I, there were there were times in in what I thought about literally how different the franchise. is became once shadow was introduced so like i know i know i know people like to you know it's like classic and modern i almost think that the, the bigger difference is is shadow and, and like pre-shadow and post-shadow because like because uh, say one was still pretty rooted in the classic stuff yeah it, it's yeah. It paid homage to you know sonic 3 in a big way it's still built upon like the lore like uh, I'm using lore loosely, but, you know, in terms of, like, the stuff with Angel Island and the Master Emerald, it actually, you know, kept some stuff in continuity. It tried to build upon what had, what the Genesis games had established. Yeah, I mean, especially, like, Sonic's look in that game is pretty classic. You know, he's, he's going to, like, short it with, like, the pudgy stomach. You know, he when he jumps, he, he still turns into a boy, has the classic jumping sound effect. There's th things like that which just make it feel like... Like, if, if you took classic Sonic in 3D, that's kind of what he would play like. But I, just just in, like, in like a lot of ways, both in terms of, like, gameplay, like, story, kind of kind of art direction to a degree. Like, things uh, really changed, um, you know. Maybe I'm barring, like, heroes, but yeah. But now, I was going to say, cause, because wasn't Heroes, the original teams in Heroes, supposed to have, like, the, the hooligans and a mighty, and, like, Shadow wasn't going to be in it, so... Yes, yeah, so it's, it's weird, because, like, that that piece of information recently came out, but recently, I mean, about a year and a half ago, but we, we <laughs> like, really, we don't, we really don't know how far into production that idea was. I mean, like, really, I mean, like, that idea could have been day one, and somebody at Sega just wrote those teams down, and then Sega could have just been like, no. So, like, we really don't know how how much thought Sega actually put into all those characters. Um, I, but you know what? It, it, it's something I was thinking about yesterday, because I think for whatever reason, it was um, uh, the Conqueror of Colors himself, Matt Herms, released an like, posted an image of all of these sprites of the kind of Satyam characters in Sonic Spinball. And I was I, w I was thinking like how how different would would the would the franchise be if instead of inventing all of these new characters for the modern age, if they had just gone back to you know like in incorporated like Sally and all those kind of like uh, classic era characters into the games. We'd have the Ken Pender Sonic movie for sure at that point. Oh god, well, then I'm glad oh, it didn't god. happen. Then. Darkest timeline, dude. Darkest timeline. Yeah, like, what isn't it like the re the reason why they don't really do stuff with that is because they they don't they don't like uh, American made uh, characters. Something like that, yeah. Because because they even even though some of them to a degree like like you know Sally Acorn and stuff were kind of based on, uh, you know characters you know things from the games themselves. Yeah, I think Sega of Japan. Uh, and and you know, uh, from, from what we understand, you know, it's it's not not that uncommon for a Japanese game developer to kind of just want to focus on the Japanese stuff, you know. Where, weren't weren't all the the Satyam other characters? Weren't they just big versions of all the little flicky animals? Well, I'm, yeah, there there were like walrus little little flicky walruses, right? Well, it's and there was... the 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 uh, extra characters in Sonic the comic were more based on those because then you literally had like the pig character Porco Lewis. You had the rabbit during life, but those were the, those were really more based on on things from the games. I think for like the. Uh, the original Archie book and like Seth A.M. that was more of like Sadie Acorn came from the games like she was like the name of like a flicky what have you but things like Antoine uh, Bunny Rabbit um, those were kind of just I think those were just created originally for um, for the show although if you there is concept artwork out there for for 
what is what is most likely to be the original version of Sat AM, and the Freedom Fighter group in that is I think that literally had like Porker Lewis, it had Johnny Lightfoot, it had like this, the the uh, Walrus character, but I guess along the way they were just changed to be not based on anything from um, the games themselves. I think there's also the whole thing because we, we mentioned multiple times about Sega's whole not not owning everything and not owning the rights to everything. So I think they they don't want to do it just in case of any issues, especially with characters and stuff they absolutely don't own. Yeah, I can see them getting paranoid after some of the bumps along the way they've had. <laughs> well, even even to begin so, with, like Sega have always been a, a dumb ca- a <laughs> dumb company in regards to copyright of their own material. It's pretty catchy. Given yeah. you, yeah, what, given what you ex- this? It's definitely not Yakuza music. Chris, giving you ah. access to professional editing equipment is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> I got a question. If they just gave him Berserker Rage and Drill Claws, why didn't they just make the Werehog a Wolverine? Hmm. That would have been cool. <laughs> Does that mean we'd eventually get Sonic's daughter? Oh, I get it. <laughs> hey. It's totally a reference. I just made it more obvious. So, the Wii version of this boss fight, for whatever reason, this boss like bleeds like a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, 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 literal, just giant spurts of green blood pour from this bastard when, when you attack him. He should have bled in this version. It's two that, out, two out of ten. Not, not that much blood. That's why the weak version. More bleed. <laughs> Hashtag make the more bleed. That stupid fucking face, Jesus so, Christ. So, remember your question a few parts back here, like, what was one thing that we could change that wouldn't fundamentally change the entire game? Yeah, let the more A bleed. More blood. <laughs> Every, <laughs> everything bleeds in this game. Even the robots bleed. Especially yeah. the See? robots. See? Better game. Blades will bleed. This C3. You know what? That's, that's actually something that shows, like, um, like, Transformer shows we sometimes do. They'll have, like, the robots... Like leak leak energy on, but it's literally it's just a fucking stand in for blood. I think there's one episode of Transformers Prime where Optimus Prime punches Megatron in the face, and just like fucking blood comes out of his like energy on comes out of his nose. And he's like, you you guys just wanted to fucking animate Megatron bleeding from his nose. Wait, it's Give like me your you know what makes Megatron as as bleed his own blood. Fine. Yeah, I mean you know that's the, I think occasionally on Invader Zim they would have him literally bleed green. Uh, yeah, because it's not red, no one gives a fuck. No, it was it was squiggly sploosh juice. Squiggly sploosh juice. Yeah, look what they did with Ocarina of Time, like in the like in the original release. Like, didn't Ganon like bleed actual yeah. red blood, and then they had to change it to he, green in later releases? He, he, yeah, he, he vomits. He vomits after you beat his first form, and it's all red and gross. But yeah, then they made it green. I want to say Sh- I want to say Shadow the Hedgehog did that. I want to say in in early builds of it. Both the aliens and humans bled red, but then in the final game, they completely removed the human blood, and then now aliens bled green. Yeah. Oh, see, the original interpretation had symbolism. Now it just lost all its meaning. <laughs> am I am I misremembering, or was that the same deal for Dark Guy as well? I no, thought d- I remember reading well, once Dark- supposed to be red. Oh. D- Dark Guy, yes, he still bleeds. Well, I, I just in, besides the cutscene, I'm trying to think. Uh, does he bleed in game in either version? Does he bleed? <laughs> Do you bleed? I don't you think died. he does. I just don't know why I remember that he originally bled red, but he definitely I, doesn't in the final game. So maybe the, that was just green, someone. I think I the mean, green I, is more effective anyway. I was I probably mean, just thinking of that shadow thing, honestly. The the thing with that, especially in that cutscene. If if it was red, just based on, on the pre-rendered cutscene, this game would probably get a teen rating, because that oh, yeah. thing that thing bleeds a lot of fucking green. Bleed also, yeah, it's it, it's a CG it's a CG cutscene, so I doubt that like if the, there wouldn't have been a last minute change, like that would have had to take a lot of time. Just just go to take it to Photoshop and frame by frame turn the blood green. No, yeah, just, blur, yeah, yeah, just yeah, Blur button. Studios. Just get rid oh, of no, the mustache. This, this, oh, this wasn't Blur Studios. Studios yeah, no, this was. Fool. Yeah. This was uh, Mars, but at, at the time it was called VE Studios, but now we all know it as Mars the Planet. Yeah, Sony Pictures Animation. <laughs> what, what else has Mars the Planet done since? They did um, that, that Captain Holock movie that Stephen always likes to complain about. 
All right. They um. Did, 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 didn't they do an didn't they do an, an uh, Astix movie? A what movie? I think is that how you, you call me? It? Astix. Astic? It's it's the oh god I'm gonna. It's the Mikey do, do you mean Asterix? The French? Asterix. That's what it is. Oh, did they? I don't know, but I'm 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 a big fan of that that character or franchise. But I have no. I know there was one CG Asterix movie, but um, I'm not sure if it was V Studios. Maybe. They have done Resident Evil Vendetta alongside other companies. No, they that that shit looks terrible. Team Sonic Racing, Sonic Forces, VR Zone Shinjuku. No, that also looked terrible. The Last <laughs> Guardian animations, Splatoon 2 3D models. Huh. Oh yeah, they looked like Splatoon. I forgot that. That's a pretty diverse portfolio. What about what, ab- what about non-video games? Uh, I kind of said it all. Night of the Werehog, The Gift 2016, and Robo Dog Discontinued Project. Oh, The Gift uh, is that? Yeah, oh, that, that, that's that's that. Uh... I think that that's that's the Jason Bateman like weird movie, and that, 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 that's something you wouldn't expect them to do. But I guess it's like it's more of a getting rid of stuff. It's not it's not that other kind of visual effects. All we're saying is please please don't make the Sonic movie, Sony Paramount. Who is making it now? Because no no one wants it. Wasn't it Sony who was originally making it, and now they handed the reins over to someone else? Or am I thinking of a different movie? It was Sony. Now it's Paramount. Yeah, it went it, it went into into turnaround for Sony, and then Paramount swooped in and unfortunately bought it. But they still kept the same. They still kept the same people. So no, no, they did because they 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 got, got new writers. It was the same director and producer at least. I thought I I, I thought Tim Miller was only brought on once it moved to to Paramount. I know at least Neil Moritz was still uh, attached. In both versions. This is such a dumb boss, person. by the way. Yeah. What's this lizard doing trapped in a fucking platform? <laughs> he's, he's, do- Who he's cares? doing. Just uh, leave him be. He's doing, he's doing like what Dingo Dial does. Dingo Dial's making toast. Break out, break out the butter. I'm making toast. Somewhere in the world, TJ just got to chill down his spine. <laughs> yeah, we, we've been talking about Sonic and VR. We need Werehog VR, because that way you can like use the. Use the little oh, arm paddles and actually c- control each so, arm. So j- just like the Wii, motion. just like the Wii version you, with the Wiimo nunchuck. With how VR has to handle first-person movement, usually by teleporting, that would actually make a weird amount of sense. Teleportation, yeah. Shoot Teleport, me. teleports Shoot behind me. you. Nothing, <laughs> nothing <laughs> personal, kid. Oh, our long-standing national nightmare is over. Part eight is almost finished. Thank God. Now what do we do? Oh, um, wait six months for the next four parts. Hey, baby! Maybe, about by, right. maybe by then I, I, I would have found my, uh, I would have found my booklet. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna bet you don't. I'm gonna bet you forget in five minutes after we're done tonight. Yeah, pretty much. Which emerald is this? Is this the second or third? Uh, this is like the fourth, I think. You can't expect us to know these things. Um, it's an emerald, so it, it's got to be green. Because well, you can see, you have, blue, I think you have, you have Shamar. No, there's three, because there's Shamar, uh, Adabat. Yeah, just Shamar and Adabat, because Empire City doesn't have a, uh, uh, a guy gate. Empire City. Wait, so, so yeah, there's, yeah, have there's an two. Emerald? Yeah, there, so there's four. We've already done four of them. Yeah, we've Where's... lost our emerald. Chris, why did you why did you include this like ten seconds in a new area for in this part? Because he wants to buy. Oh no! Oh, That's why. Oh no! I fucking despise your existence, Chris. You got uh, an answer to that pretty quickly, didn't you? Uh, Axon, thank you for for joining us. Um, thank and, and, you. Hey, thank you for there, having me. Of course, man. Um, is it just because at the end of this, is there anything you'd like to finally say about Sonic Unleashed or anything in general? And do you have anything? Or anything you would like to hashtag plug? Plug, yes. Like a YouTube channel, your Twitter account, um, a Tinder account, whatever you want. Uh, no, I don't have any sort of accounts like that. I would just say Lies. hashtag FTCR, hashtag art. Oh, <laughs> bless you. But yeah, so this you know guy. what? Hashtag starts- hydrocity. Oh, hey. you ruined it. fucking ruined it! But you know what? It's something I wanna, I wanna say just to make this part longer, so Chris has more to edit. Where, okay. where do, exactly do do you would you rank the Unleashed in in the franchise as a whole? Oh, in the franchise as a whole, 
Uh, it probably wouldn't be in my top five. Um, maybe towards the bottom of my top ten, but it's definitely okay. not the worst Sonic game. I would certainly play it over something like 06. I would play it over Sonic Boom. I would play it probably over Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> oh, now you're getting controversial there, guy. Fucking no, I, I, I honestly, I would, I, I, I'd put it on the same level, maybe, maybe, maybe a, a step below the two adventure games. Okay, yeah, you know, I get that. I, get that. I think I've said before, at least it's a game I respect more than I flat out like, if that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah thank I, you. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for having me. And of course, anytime, yeah. anytime. If 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 you would like to uh, join us on a uh, OP part, uh, please rethink your life choices. Why? Yep, we'll do. <laughs> <laughs>